what's going on you too oh jeez oh give me a second uh, all right trying to do that one hand it's not easy all right yeah so where was i yeah what's going on youtube uh i know it's been a minute i kind of got off track with what day it was and like when i posted the last video and stuff like that but um anyway today's another video you know um definitely lost track though and i'm having some problems with the software that i use to edit these videos you know things happen uh gonna work on them i guess you could say but yeah today so it's basically gonna be a q a today so like i'm gonna answer those questions that people ask me at left and uh yeah, I'm going to answer the questions that people left in the comments on some of the channels. Uh, no particular order. It's just going to be however I read them, you know, things like that. But uh, I'm going to be moving around a lot, too, because so I also got to do some stuff, you know, wash some clothes, clean up a little, and, uh, you know, get a haircut, finally. Not going to show you what it's looking like, because it already looks bad. And then I got freaking... Just, I'm going I'm to get it fixed. Don't worry about that. But yeah, I'm going to head down to the laundry. I mean, washing machine. Go do that. And then we're going to hop into this video. All right. So, yeah. I'll see you guys then. All right. I'm back. So, um, yeah. So, I went and put the laundry in, you know, wash my clothes and stuff. Then I went and got food. I wasn't going to show you guys... You know, me washing the laundry, I guess. That would have been boring or whatever. Plus, you know, it was like loud in there, so you wouldn't have heard me. But after that, I went and got some food and stuff, you know, came back. So, <clears throat> now let's get into this video. Actually, give me one second. Uh, just... Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, like I was saying, right? It's gonna be a Q&A video, basically. Uh, no particular order. I'm just gonna read what video the question was from and who it was from. Uh, sorry if I don't pronounce your name right, but you know, just you you should know who you are if you're watching this video and you asked that question before. But um, yeah. why? Okay, so. There's no particular order. I'm just going to go down as, you know, questions are shown here. So, first question is for, uh, this is from Love Blue, two days ago. Well, I'm not going to say how many days because, yeah, I'm kind of late with this, so forgive me for that. But like I said, hey, leave questions, uh, comments, concerns, anything like that. I will get back to you. It won't be the same day, but I promise I will get back to you. I do promise that. That's why I always say you can message me directly if you have any questions, uh, because I'm always on my social media, you know, so I, I'd be on there more, so, like, I would definitely see your comment or question or whatever it is beforehand, but, yeah, so, this, this question is from Love Blue. Uh, it commented on the Security Forces career field photo, I mean, video. He says, do you get deployed a lot, question mark, and what are three times off like how much time a week you get to yourself <clears throat> okay so one this is kind of like three questions but yeah so the first question uh do i get deployed a lot me personally no i don't get deployed a lot due to uh where i'm at and honestly my particular career field that's really what it is so like i've said in one of my other videos there's two types of security forces here at my base we have the LE side, and then we have the BDG side. Uh, back then, like a couple years ago, this used to be a high deployment rate base, which means like people on both sides would actually get deployed. So that's how it was back then. But now deployments have kind of slowed down drastically. So if you're on the LE side, you won't really get deployed at all, really. Uh, at most, you'll probably get like a TDY and things like that. Uh, but you won't really get deployed. That's about it. 
uh, for the LE side. Now, if you're on the BDG side, BDG side, you will get deployed, uh, but like it won't be as frequently as it used to be back then, if that makes sense. You get what I'm saying? So if you're on the BDG side, uh, they have nothing. They don't really do any law enforcement stuff like I do. So like they just train for deployments basically. So they train if like something was to go down, like the all of this stuff with uh, what is that Iran and you know the stuff that's happened lately in the news. If you guys are watching, you everybody should be watching the news, know what's going on, especially if you're thinking about enlisting. Uh, but yeah, due to like all of that stuff. We have, there has been like a little jump in the deployment rate I've seen on the BDG side and, you know, the people that I know on the BDG side. So they have been deploying a little bit more. Um, for me, at least I, we still don't deploy because we need people here to actually watch the base and, you know, do the regular stuff here at the base. So that's the answer to the first question. Uh, what are free times, what, what? And what are free times off like? Free times off like? Uh, your free time's off is your time, basically. You you can do whatever. You can sleep, go out to eat, go party. Uh, if you're old enough, go drink, you know. It's like, I mean, there's really nothing much to it, you know. Uh, how much time a week you get to yourself. So, out of the week, counting the seven days, whether from Sunday to Saturday or Monday to Sunday, however you want to count it. Um, for me, I work four days, yeah, I work four days a week, and then I have two primary days off, I mean, permanent days off, stationary days, however the hell you want to say it, I have two main days off, Saturday, Sunday, the weekend, and then every other Monday, I get off, so every other Monday, so like say, today's what, alright, let's just say today's Monday. Actually, it is. Alright, yeah. I have today off, right? Next week, Monday, I would have training. Then the week after that, Monday, I would have off. You get it? So, every other Monday. So, yeah, that's pretty much how it is. Hope that answers your question. Um, next question is from Noah McNarenza. You know, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Where is that? Hold on. Let me see if that... Ah, uh, jeez. Uh, okay. You can't even... Let me see. Oh, that's too bright. Right. You know what? I'm not even... You Noah. I'm going to just say Noah, the first name, because you can't see it. All right. Uh, he, he commented a question on a day in my life security forces video. Question is, I don't know if you still work if you're still working the gate but do your patrol cars have a computer system in them yet um yes i am still working the gate i am soon to be pushed for patrol what is going on all right yeah yeah i'm still working the gate i'm soon to be pushed for patrol um and but our squad cars they're not like so our squad cars are i guess you would say standard squad cars Compared to, like, law enforcement outside of the military. I'm not too sure about other bases, but I just know here at my base, our squad cars, they're, they're the standard versions of them. Uh, we don't have, like, the computer system in it to, like, you know, look up license plates and all that. We All of that stuff will be at the desk. Um, but we have, like, everything else in the squad car. We don't have no computer systems yet. That's just, as far as I know, that's just, like, you know, like sheriffs and regular police officers outside of the military. Uh, under the same video, it's going to be a question from Ta Ta I have no clue how to say that. Uh, if you know who you are, T-A-J-I-A-N-N-E That's from that person. Uh, <laughs> Question is, do you need to get security clearance and a polygraph for security forces? Polygraph, no. Security clearance, yes. So, like for me, I have a not a, I have a secret. 
Uh, security clearance. That's for like flight line and for certain areas of the base that I can't disclose. Obviously, secret clear, uh, secret you know, clearance things type crap. But also, being that I am security forces, you're gonna get some level of uh, security clearance due to the fact that we are cops and being that that is our job, we can legally go anywhere on the base that we want. In a sense, you know what I'm saying? So like some areas where other people wouldn't be able to get into, we can just walk into there. You know, in a sense. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, question is from Robbie Greenwell. This is on us under, actually wait. Yeah, under the same video, his question is, have you ran into anyone in security forces that is in the Air Guard? Air Guard. Um. Yes. And no. So, what I mean by that is in tech school, right, my security forces tech school, I was there with active duty personnel, people that were reserve, and people that were guard. That's just how it is. So, like, That'll be the most you'll really see other people. So, like, during basic training in tech school, you'll see people that are, you you know, you'll be on the same flight, squad, whatever, with people that are guard, reserve, and then active duty. And same thing for tech school as well. After tech school, everybody branches out, you know, all the guard and reserve people, they go back to their home states uh, and their home bases and things like that. All the active duty, we're like, we just go everywhere, you know. So, yes and no for that. Um, this question, Day in the Life Security Forces. This question is from Eden LMAO. I'm not sure if that's your name or just your YouTube thing, but alright. Uh, yeah, so it says, How come you're in ABUs? I thought it was OCPs now. So, yes, that's true. Uh, also, other thing is that I am still in ABUs because I didn't decide to switch over myself yet. So right now we're still in a cross phase of uh, switching out of ABUs into OCPs. So near the end of this year, 2020, uh, there's going to be an official date where everybody has to wear OCPs. So like you get your clothing allowance on your one year mark and you have to wear OCPs, things like that. Um. But yeah, that's pretty much why I'm still wearing ABUs at the moment. So I didn't get my clothing allowance yet. And I still have, you know, like about a good half of this year before I actually have, before it's mandatory for me to wear OCPs. But as of right now, I still have all my proper, you know, uniform stuff set up for my ABUs. So I thought, hey, why switch? You know, I'm gonna just rock the ABUs until it's time for me to switch. I do have one set of OCPs. Uh, I'll probably show that in the next video under security forces gear or like issue gear that we get but yeah I do have OCPs I have one set that I got I didn't pay for I got it for free um, it wasn't issued though so it's you know it's a lot behind that but yeah so I got one set uh, I don't have the boots and stuff and none of the patches so that's why I don't wear it yet uh, Alright, so this is another question from Austin Graham. How often do you get deployed in security forces? So if you was watching this man, uh, you know, I told you, like I said, you saw in the other video. So no, don't really get deployed as much, you know. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this question is from Sir, Sir, I don't even know how to say that. I'm, I'm sorry, dude. I don't even know how to say that. Uh, S-E-R-G space M-N-T. He has, like, Dragon Ball Z for the picture. Uh, if you know who you are, I'm talking about you. Uh, it says, sup, man. Keep up the great work. Can you do a base tour and your favorite places to visit there on the base? So, I would love to do that. But, no, I can't. So, keep in mind, guys. Certain videos, like when you get in, you know, when you go through basic training and stuff, once you guys enlist, 
uh, you're gonna learn a lot about like social media and public affairs things and a lot of things like that. Like there's a lot of things that we can and cannot do mainly talking to me. So like there's a lot of things. So I can talk about certain things, you know, like explain certain things, tell you how it is. And then there's other things that I can't even talk about whatsoever. Or like, you know, bring up the subject as much. Uh, and things like that. So like a base tour. Um, there, so, for, okay, so for me, due to the fact that I'm not public affairs, even though I am security forces, but being the fact that I'm not public affairs, I myself can't do a base tour, uh, that would get me in trouble, being the fact that that would be a base compromise, so, yeah, it would, it would be base compromise, basically, so, like, it's, it's sort of like a national base security matter. So I can't do a base tour myself because then that would be base compromise for anybody overseas that's watching these videos, uh, you know, that wants to do bad, bad things, let's just say. Uh, yeah, so I can't do that. But the public affairs people, like people that are in that section, they will make videos like that. Uh, you know, they won't be like as detailed, you know, showing you like exactly how the base is and stuff, but they can talk about certain areas. Um, I can do that. I can talk about the things that we have on base, but I can't literally go around, you know, showing you how the base looks. Unless you have access to the base, then you get on and see for yourself. But yeah, other than that, no, nah, I'm sorry. Uh, keep making videos, thank you. Alright, so this is from Pretty Boy with the Nine. Cool. How long does it take in between to move up oh this is, he commented this on the security forces moving up video say how long does it take in between to move up are they all set to a specific time frame depending on position so yes and no so the way that works is moving so like for me right I started off as like I guess intro uh, IEC men so I was in training then I passed my QC for uh, IEC which is in uh, installation entry controller so basically working the gate um, so after that then you get you have to so you have to work in a certain position for so at minimum what it is is you're supposed to work that you know position certified for a year in order to be opened up for the next uh, the next level I guess you could say uh, yeah, the next level, I guess you could say, which would be patrolman for me. So, there is that. That's, like, what you're supposed to do. That's the minimum, at least one year. But if you're, like, talking with your supervisor, you're studying, uh, every now and then they put you on patrol, you're actually getting hands-on experience. Excuse me. If you talk with your supervisor and you actually, like, feel like, oh, you're confident, you're comfortable at this part, I mean, at this time, before you hit your one year, so say like six, seven months in, you think you're ready, you're confident, you've been studying, you've had hands-on training, you've seen what they do, right? You can go talk to your supervisor, and your supervisor can actually open you up for patrol early, depending on how they feel that you've been doing so far. So like if you've been doing your, your first job good, and he sees that you're studying, say he comes to ask you a random question, you know exactly what to do, blah, blah, blah. He could open you up for patrol early. Um, then you could take your test and then boom, look at that. Instead of waiting one year to be patrol, you've hit seven months. You're already patrol now, which means you have an earlier head start than most of the other people in your flight. Which also looks good for things like BTZ and you know your promotion and things like that. But um yeah, so that's it. Uh, once again, like I said, though, sorry for posting this video late, guys. I kind of lost track of my days. Uh, I've been busy doing stuff. And, yeah, I'm having problems with my software that I use to edit and crap right now. But, yeah, so if this video helped, uh, try to answer the questions that I saw. You know, don't want to make this video too long. But if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. Please leave a like, subscribe, you know. Uh, if you want to just ask me a quick question and get like a direct answer right away, 
please message me on my social media. That will also be in the description below. Uh, if you message me on my social media, you know, I'll get right back to you either same day or next day. Uh, if you message, if you leave a comment or a question here on YouTube, I will see it eventually. I won't get right back to it, but I definitely will see it because for some reason this doesn't tell me every time somebody comments, you know, so it's, it kind of makes it hard. I kind of got to like keep up with this, then keep up with work, then my personal life, you know, so it's like, it's just a bunch going on. But yeah, so I hope this video helped. Uh, we'll be dropping another video next week. I'm about to go get my hair cut because I look like crap. But, yeah. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, jeez. Peace. God's plan. God's plan. I can't do this on my God's plan.